Welcome to Around the House, sponsored by Romac Building Supply. I'm your host, Don Magruder. For more great homeowner tips, go to AroundTheHouse.tv and subscribe to our YouTube channel and weekly newsletter. What's going on with building material supply and prices? Well, that's the number one question I'm asked these days. And then the second question I'm asked, do you see things getting better anytime soon? Well, the answer to these questions, well, they're somewhat complicated. So let's talk about where we currently stand in the building material supply and pricing markets. Each month since 2005, Romac Building Supply has released a whole house commodity index, which reports and charts the monthly wholesale pricing of a structurally built home here in Central Florida of 2,200 square foot. It is a free report to builders and contractors, and this report goes from Leesburg to Wall Street every month because it accurately reflects the direction of the housing market in the next 30 to 45 days. If you'd like this report, contact your local Romac representative or you can contact myself. In January 2020, just before the COVID-19 pandemic began to sweep the world, the Romac Whole House Commodity Index was at $32,989. And one year later, in January 2021, this index is now at $46,011. That is a whopping 39.5% increase. The increase in pricing is record breaking. When we look inside the numbers of the whole house commodity index, you really get a feel of just how much pricing has increased and it's stunning. For example, in the last year, foundation rebar is up 17%. CDX pine plywood is up 114%, while OSB sheathing is up an unimaginable 240%. 2 before 4 pine is up 178%, 2 per 6 pine is up 233%, and 2 per 12 pine is up 201%. 2 before 4 and 2 per 6 spruce is up 84 to 90%, and two by four 92 and 58 studs are up 115%. Wow. Roof trusses are up 83.9% on increased cost of pine lumber, metal plates, and labor. Insulation is up 27%, while drywall is up almost 20%. If you thought that wasn't bad, now we're at exterior windows and sliding glass doors, and they're up 13%, with more increases in now, while exterior doors are up 8%, with future increases later this spring. Interior doors and molding are up almost 30%. Now roofing is up less than 5%, but you can't hardly get it. But pricing is not the only problem. The supply chain is completely broken because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Manufacturers, distributors, and suppliers are facing huge problems with COVID-19 outbreaks, which is slowing down or in some cases, stopping production. Plus, socially distancing employees is creating lost production. On top of that, hiring has almost become impossible for many in the supply industry. If you throw in a dysfunctional world trade system, you have the makings of a supply chain disaster. Let me give you some real examples of supply issues that have developed since January 2020. Since last year, most lumber and plywood items have become very difficult to find and there are spot shortages throughout the supply chain. Windows that a year ago had two and three week lead times are now 16 to 25 weeks out. Yes, if you order windows today, you're gonna to be months getting them. Exterior door lead times have gone from four weeks out to 10 weeks out, and roofing lead times have just become a total disaster. What used to take two weeks to get in have now gone out to eight weeks, and in some cases, 20 weeks. Plus, a lot of the manufacturers have drastically reduced the numbers of colors they're offering. So getting shingles will be a problem over the next few months. It also appears over the next few months, foundation mesh and rebar will be hard to find, as well as other nail and fastener items. Garage door lead times have expanded from two and three weeks out to eight to 10 weeks, with multiple price increases announced. Here's the deal. If you're gonna plan a project, you must get your details together and order early and verify the information is correct. A misorder now will cost you a lot of time. The other thing to keep in mind, special order items are even worse and could be more vulnerable to longer lead times. So the next question I'm asked all the time, when do I think this is going to improve? I don't see much relief this spring and it appears the rest of 2021 could be a struggle with higher prices and a broken supply chain. 
A lot of people don't understand that lumber is a commodity that is traded on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. The prices are governed by demand and the futures of these items are important to higher prices this spring and later in the year. Based on futures, there's little chance that we're gonna see much relief in wood commodity products. The first step if we wanna see these markets improve, we must resolve the COVID-19 pandemic and getting people vaccinated and back to normal. At that time, production can increase and some of these supply issues will disappear. Next, the world trade situation has to come back to some type of stability and the United States must return as a trusted partner. The years of tariffs and threats has created a lot of disruptions in the construction supply channel. People forget the developing world is competing for products and services just like the United States. And this competition is creating a demand equation that many don't understand. Until the pandemic and trade issues are resolved, expect prices and supply to be volatile. The other thing you must consider is market demand. Low interest rates, a fleeing from large northern cities to Florida, and a proposed housing plan by President Biden could keep the housing markets on fire. This could extend supply and pricing issues well into 2022. Plus, we haven't even factored in the pent-up demand of people who have not started projects because of the pandemic. With all that said, what should you do if you want to build a project? Should I wait or go forward? Honestly, it is your decision and you must feel comfortable in whatever decision you make. But if you're waiting for pricing or supply relief, you're probably gonna be waiting quite a while. After the pandemic is over, I expect the housing market in Florida to be very hot and there won't be much relief. I hope this market update helps you understand what's happening with the supply markets. And once again, if you'd like to sign up for the Romac Building Supply News and Information System and our whole house commodity index, please contact your local Romac representative. And I'd like to also thank you for watching Around the House today. If you like this program, go to aroundthehouse.tv to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our weekly newsletter. Until next time, I will see you around the house.